Alrighty, here we go. Look at this craziness. Ay, 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 ay. I've not uh, really played a lot of the Great Battles of History full system and as such, uh, messing around with the units routing off the board and things like that adds, a, adds, adds some more flavor to it. It's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't really change the net impact. You know, perhaps here we'll see a leader try and do some rally, uh, excuse me, rallying. Um, <clears throat> so let's uh, let's recap the turn because turn three was pretty interesting. Uh, we had you know a number of uh, little actions with uh, cavalry up here that uh, cleaned up a SK a skirmisher that was goofing around here. Uh, the um, Boeotian forces uh, represented by the Thebian counters here moved uh, moved up and uh, did not engage, but uh, moved the full extent of their movement, three movement points. The hoplites then advanced in and they attacked, um, both uh, incurring some uh, co cohesion hits as they moved into combat. And some actually down here failed their their um, their TQ rolls, uh, their uh, morale rolls to, uh, to engage, so they didn't engage. The attacks went uh, pretty much as we expected, both sides taking either two or three cohesion hits each. So the tallies uh, started to mount up. Then the, let's see, then what happened there? Uh, so one of the, one of the, one of the Thebian forces uh, or Boeotian forces uh, routed. That's right, the Athenians, no, the Athenians got in there and uh, and attacked, and uh, in fact, it was straight across the board, uh, twos and three uh, cohesion hits for against uh, for the uh, uh, Athenians against the Boeotians. Uh, then we had uh, uh, momentum in which the Athenians used the cavalry to clean up those SKs up the top there I'd mentioned, and then uh, the Boeotians uh, activated their uh, hoplites as the last uh, chit for the turn. And that's where we saw the, the mass uh, of, of losses here. Because these guys had incurred uh, uh, one cohesion hit extra to get up to here, and then they advanced in and had combat, that put them at uh, three or four uh, cohesion hits each, I think. And then uh, on the whole, uh, the losses were sign more significant for the Athenians in this round of combat than it was for uh, the Boeotians. We had a uh, 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 position superiority attack here, even though we lost a uh, we lost a, a column shift for for uh, I counted half because half of the unit was down the hill. I counted that as a, a negative against the uh, for the uh, against the Boeotians and for the Athenians, but that uh, still had position superiority, and so that just crushed that unit. They took off in this direction. And uh, then going across the board here, because the uh, guys were attacking downhill, they got a, a, a column shift and they both rolled exceedingly well. In the uh, sevens, uh, so raw nine and raw seven, I think it was down the end there. That all worked out pretty well. And down the end here, it did not work out so well. Uh, they, uh, they only rolled a three and that, uh, that hurt. That was... Uh, a two hex retreat, then one, two, three, four. I've moved this guy one too far. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we've got a we've got a routing unit there. So that's kind of the status now. Once all these guys come off the board, I have to. I'm going to have to look at what the route levels are supposed to be for who wins. It's looking ominous for the Athenians, but they do have uh, two very strong uh, units here. Likewise, down in this corner. We still have the double depth unit, which got all bogged up around its own uh, skirmishes. So I was trying to be clever there, uh, and it uh, it's in a bit of a pickle. So next turn, it may uh, may not even get into the fight before the battle is over. Uh, so next turn, I'm thinking if the Boeotians win, we will probably will probably activate the skirmishes or the cavalry, probably the cavalry, to get them out of the way and la and allow this double depth unit to come and hit this guy. Uh, or activate the skirmishers and scoot them over this direction to start trying to uh, protect this flank a little bit. I probably don't want to move any of these hoplites. I want to let them all recover one or two uh, cohesion hits in the uh, in the uh, 
you know, in the in their turn, uh, in their initial activation. And in fact, that may be what I'll do. The initial activation will recover here. Otherwise, we're going to lose two uh, two units if they're attacked. That might make sense. All right. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, it depends on who gets initiative. But these guys, if they get initiative, it's pretty clear what they'll do. They'll start moving in uh, in from this direction here. And that's a little uh, update wrap on what's going on, and we'll we'll touch base later on today.